Uh, the grand that I chose on mine was the Bee Bots. And if you've never saw the Bee Bots or actually got to use them, like they're really, really fun, especially if you like programming. And I know my third graders, like they're big on games, especially like the Minecraft. So um, the Bee Bots and programming are really fun for them. Um, the area of focus was using technology for learning. Can primary students problem solve and learn basic reading and math skills? Since day one, one of the hardest things we've had is getting kids to think on their own. If the answer's not in front of them, they want to sit and just raise their hand. Hey, I need help. Show me the answer. But um, using our technology, which we have our one-to-one -one devices um, and our programming, this would allow the kids to be able to think for themselves and find the answer on their own. And if they didn't get it, to go back and figure out how to get it. Um, how they help with problem solving. The bee bots help build critical thinking skills as students move through a series of challenges by directing the bee bot through various routes to a mapping process. So unless they tell the bee bot where to go, the bee bot's going to stay right there. I mean, if you want to go left, you have to program it left. You want to go forward two steps, you have to tell it. So you're like, if they're, if they like video games or maybe that's a career they want to take, it's like um, building games. You know, it's the same process. You have to actually physically build it and put it together and tell the characters in the video games where to go. And the students develop an understanding of coding and programming as well as learning to make predictions about where the bots should go, evaluate their decisions as their B-Bot is maneuvering through the course. So again, if, they're, if they program the B-Bot to go um, left but they needed to go two times, if they didn't, if it only moved once, they had to go back and figure out how to get it to move again. The Bee Bots help build and increase learning by using robot technology to support and cultivate vital skills for student achievement. Um, trying to get kids away from just straight paper and pencil, get them to do more hands-on, they're going to build those critical thinking skills because they have to think on their own. Hands-on learning, student engagement was increased with the use of the Bee Bots. Students enjoyed learning where the, there wasn't, given, wasn't a given answer. Yes, the answer wasn't in front of them. They had to find it, but they still had fun and enjoyed it. Um, they had to make predictions and think about how to get the b -bot from one place to another, and they found it to be a rewarding challenge. And to me, that's the best thing about it. If they learn something from it, they've gained those skills, it's a reward. Um, some of the mats that we've got, we've got um, a U.S. coin mat so they can actually program the b -bots to go if they're counting money. You know, if they've got to get to 25 cents, like how can they program the B-Bot to go to a certain um, place on the mat that shows 25 cents? Um, you've got a dice mat and even a phonics mat if you're learning like in the lower primary for uh, sounds. You know, program your B-Bot to go to a, a picture that has the, um, the B sound. So they have to physically program it to go to all that. And you can even do sight words with it as well. Um, for the dice mats, you can use skip counting, build number skills, and even multiplication skills. Here's a CVC mat. You can work on consonant sounds, work on vowel sounds, and even picture recognition. So they can use this as low as preschool. Um, again, the coin mat, recognizing coins and counting coins. Programming. Like the B-Bots, my students wanted more and found that working on studiocode.org, and I don't know if you've all ever been to that, I myself like it because it, to me it's fun because you get to program, uh, you all have heard of probably Angry Birds. There's an Angry Birds game on there, and my kids absolutely loved it because they get to maneuver the Angry Bird. Um, my students found that they could use the programming and strategies techniques from the B-Bots to program Angry Bird characters as well as programming to spell words. So it has multiple things that you can go to to program. Evaluation students have made correlations with the process of using the B-Bots to that of solving problems in the classroom. Students have to learn to think for themselves, try their answer and see the results, and they may have to try and try again until they get it right. And that's one thing they need to, t you know, to learn in the classroom. Even if you fail once, don't give up and quit. Keep trying again. And that's one of the things that my kids struggled with at the most. If they, you know, they failed the first time, well, they wanted you then to help them. They need to learn to try it on their own again. Um, I found that even when presented with a challenge, students who can start out with a simple task and can have success will welcome more difficult challenges as the stages progress, especially when they experience success at each stage. 
Um, there's a picture of um, some of the students working with the B-Bots, and students are eager to try to program the B-Bots and are willing to try to, try to find new ways to solve the same problem, getting to the same area but different routes. So they learn that there's more than one way to solve a problem. There's not just one answer. Um, my students have enjoyed using the different programming techniques. They love working with the B-Bots and programming them to get to their destination. My students have improved on their problem solving skills and their critical thinking skills. And I highly recommend these to anybody or the, any of the other programming um, technology that you have out there. And that's it.